Toronto condos are selling in one day. One day. They go on the market and they sell the next day or the same day. What is going on? Okay, everyone, this is Yossi Kaplan, your friendly and tough Toronto realtor. And today we're going to talk about what's going on in the Toronto real estate market and why are Toronto condos selling in one day. So I'm going to start with my own listing here, uh, DNA3. Uh, there it is on my Twitter. And this listing sold on offer date. Um, we listed it just before the long weekend, so our strategy here was a bit different. We let it run the long weekend and took the offers on the Tuesday following the next weekend and sold it. Um, this listing will be updated on MLS. I already updated, but you may see it still lingering for a couple more hours. And you're going to see the sold stats uh, as soon as we close it on MLS. Um, I'm going to show you this listing here on yossi.searchrealty.co. So that's 1030 King Street West. DNA3, lovely unit, just under 500 square feet. Asking is four eighty nine nine. I cannot tell you how much it sold for, but I can, but it, I can tell you it sold on the offer date. Okay, that part I'm allowed uh, to tell you right now. Um, I want to show you another one here. 608 Richmond, uh, the Harlow Condo is a very, very beautiful building I really like. Uh, built by Brad Lamb, uh, Lamb Development is, is his uh, development company. I was in this unit last night. Uh, as I'm going into this unit, I'm calling the agent, uh, had a couple of questions, and he's saying, I got an offer on it. Okay. Um, as I leave the unit, I call him, and he says, I think I have two offers on it. And when I called this morning, he said, you know, we sold it last night. Um, this unit is very nice. You can see it's got a gas stove. It's brand new. I don't think it's been lived in. Uh, somebody just closed and probably sat on, sat on it to get their price. And again, I cannot tell you how much it closed for. Uh, I can tell you it was listed at 548888. This is unit 211. It's got, I think, 11 foot uh, high ceilings. It's a very nice unit. I was quite impressed how well it was designed and the flow of the unit was fantastic. Um, and it was wide and spacious. It's kind of a one bedroom at the end. Uh, that's kind of designed, but you know what? I think it's really nice because they didn't have to cram anything. It's actually a very nice solution uh, for design. And the buyer client that came with me really, really liked it. She said, I love this unit. And, you know, um, my coworker was there too, and we all love the unit. Um, but, you know, he sold, and he sold that day. That is a Toronto condo that sold in one day. What else I got ready for you here? Uh, this is another unit at the same address, 608 Richmond, unit 501, you can see right here, listed at 588, it's slightly a larger unit, okay, let's take a quick look, so you can see it's a larger unit, it's a wide unit, I think it's absolutely stunning, okay, look at this, lots of light, uh, beautiful building, kind of got the loft look that uh, Lamb uh, loves so much, and so do I, uh, he's got a very nice Scandinavian uh, furniture, I'm sure it's staged. Nonetheless, it's really cool. The floor is going to half and half, or maybe it's a carpet. It's a carpet. Very, very nice. Okay, so this building turned out really, really nice. They put a nice uh, lamp in there, and it's got a bit of a view, kind of a city urban view. I kind of like these things because, you know, when I came to Toronto, it was all about warehouses and finding this unique place to live, and we all lived in warehouses and crazy places, uh, not so much condos at the time, but now that's all there is. Uh, so here's a tour of the unit. Here's the gym for the building. This is the um, Richmond. Uh, so you're looking north into the building. You're on Richmond here and uh, back to the beginning. Okay, so that's uh, this is still on the market as far as I know. You're in 501. Um, it's nine foot ceiling because it's not on the second floor. This is the only floor with high ceilings. And it's just fantastic, okay? Um, these condos are selling in one day, especially the small ones. Uh, I pulled another one here. Um, this is a larger unit. It's about a thousand, just under a thousand, just over a thousand buck a foot with parking. So that's, that's a very, very good value. Okay. Uh, here's the unit. Uh, this building turned out really, really well. It's kind of an advanced version of uh, 11 Charlotte or, or 224 King. All these three 
are built by Lamp, and they got kind of the same style design, the lacquered uh, cabinets, kind of straight, straight uh, edge, straight angle everywhere. It's quite nice. I like it. Um, okay, what else I got here? This is uh, Urban Toronto, Urban Realty Toronto, my website. If you scroll down here, uh, you're going to get these links. So if you hit, uh, say, the Yorkville link, you're going to get all the listings active in the system for Yorkville, and then you can sort them. Uh, I usually sort them by latest listing. Okay, here it is. I think uh, it was a different sort when we opened, but you can see what just came on market, what's available, and you can also use uh, the handy map function here. Okay. Um, I'm moving on here. Uh, this is a C1, C2. Uh, so it goes all the way to 401 and shows you just a few nice, I think this is the penthouse list. Uh, so you can see, or you can go to the website and click on the penthouses, special searches, penthouses. Okay. And then you're going to get, yeah, that's the same uh, link. And one that caught my eye that just came on the market uh, probably today or last night is this one here. Okay, let it load. So we are at uh, 201 Carlo uh, Penthouse 812. Uh, this unit may not sell in one day because the one day units, and I'll get back to it in a second, the one day units are usually the $500,000 range to $600,000 range. Those are sell so quickly. Here you are at a beautiful penthouse, lots of outdoor space, which to me is like gold, you know, like there's, there's almost no terraces in Toronto. So if you can find a place with a nice terrace in Toronto and it looks like this and it feels right and the price is right, consider it, okay? If you're looking for these type of places, give me a shout. There's no specific search to say, give me the nice unit, but Yossi here can do it for you and just scan these listings every morning and then give you a call or text, yes, and just say yes, say yes to life. This is great, okay? So this is unit here is... is uh, going up to this little glass room um, with this patio. I really wanted to show you this one. Um, so that's the same list. Uh, lots and lots of listings. There's more listings on the market, which is really good because it's giving buyers more options. Also, the, um, the, the, the market itself is growing because as we build more uh, properties, mainly condos, you know, there's no room. As we build more, uh, there will be more stuff on the market. So I look for these uh, here. I look for these five to six hundred thousand dollar range, like this unit right here, because these are the bread and butter of real estate investing. So if you can find this gorgeous, if you can find a unit that looks great, that the price is right, and the design of the unit, which is so important, the design of the unit, the interior design, the flow. You can actually live there, have your dinner. You know, you're not sitting in a cramped space because some of these units are not very good. And very, just like everything else in life, it's the 80-20 rule, you know, 80% are okay, 20% are really good. Out of that 20%, there's also 80-20. 80% 80 of the okay are okay, but 20% of the 20%, that's 4%, right? 20% of 20%, uh, those will be really good. And again, 20% uh, of those, so half a percent or whatever it is, uh, will be just the best, best, best. And those are the units we go for, and you can find them. And you can find them in five to six hundred thousand dollar range, and those are your bread and butter investment units, okay? Because those are the fastest to go. That's why they're selling in one day. Now, you know, when I started uh, investing twenty years ago, I wasn't an agent; I was just investing, and and the whole condo trend didn't really exist. You know, I was working with some big city brokers and kind of coming from construction background and loving uh, design and anything to do with cities. And I really believed in Toronto even uh, even then, um, and, and obviously I think I think we're, we're right about this. Um, here is the building, really really nice. Uh, Queen East, it's not that far east actually. It's a very nice some amenities, <clears throat> some rooftop. I think there's a great place to live. Beautiful shot with the uh, chemtrail there. <laughs> All right. Um, so that is the type of unit that I'm looking for. Okay, when we have investors. They want to put a tenant in, or when we have a first-time home buyer. So you got to understand uh, these type of units that are really good design, and they go for the five to six hundred. Um, not only the investors want them, but also the first-time buyers. You know, I just want to like, I'm a young person, I'm starting out, I save some money, maybe the family helps me deposit, 
I got a good job, and a lot of uh, the people that buy with me, they, they are young persons, person, um, having great jobs, have the deposit, and they're just looking for a one bedroom, sometimes a bachelor, sometimes one plus den, and you know, they work morning to night, they want a nice place to crash, they want to have like a little fun on the weekend in their place, and have a great time, and then be able to either keep it as a rental unit and buy another one, say in, in a couple of years from now, uh, or uh, flip it, take the money, and then buy something larger. Usually that happens when you are um, you have more money, or maybe you got married when you have kids, or in a relationship of sorts, or whatever it is, okay? <clears throat> you got to be careful with all these words today, you know? Um, but there you go. So that's a really good example of a unit that, in my opinion, can sell in one day. Okay, I'm not sure when it was listed. The point is, I'm showing you uh, what's available. When you go and you click on uh, uh, some of these uh, searches, uh, like the King West, that's a hard search. A hard search means I literally went to the map uh, inside my site. I created this uh, border and I export that into my other website. And this way, you can actually see just the King West area, just about that. <laughs> and then um, if you scroll to the top here, depending which template you use, it may change a bit, but you know the principle is the same. Sort by latest listing, and then the, the thing that was, um, the map redraws, and then the thing that was listed first, today or last night or a couple minutes ago, will show up first here. Okay, and this system updates uh, all the time. So this 4548888 that I just showed you, okay, this unit here already sold, okay. Now it's going to be sold conditional because um, they have to put the, the buyer has to put the deposit and the lawyer for the buyer today is Friday, so maybe they do it only on a Monday. So you may still see it on MLS, um, but if you call me, ask me any offers on this unit, I'll let you know. Uh, has this unit sold? I'll let you know. Remember that the um, the system takes maybe a day or two to update because once you uh, put your offer on a unit, you may have condition on finance, uh, you may have condition on status, a lot of sellers have the status ready, so on and so forth. Um, I'd really like to make a video for buyers, explain to them how to actually buy those units to sell in one day uh, because there's a whole structure to this and there's a process that I can show you that will increase your percentages to a level that you almost guarantee to be in the first one or two or three spots <coughs> when coming to uh, buy these units, okay? Uh, this is the same listing. I already checked this. This unit is listed twice for some reason, okay? Um, another thing that I really like uh, is... Um, this is 705 King. This is the Summit King in Bathurst, west of Bathurst. Uh, this came up a couple, couple days ago. And this is a fully renovated unit in an older building that I know and I really, really like. It's one of the best maintained buildings in the city. And there's a lot of creativity went to these units to show you what you can do because the older units um, are more spacious. And they have nicer amenities. And the amazing thing about um, the summit is that it sits on a five-acre property, and it's got the largest kind of uh, community, uh, both overground, so play area for the kids, barbecues, uh, picnic table, lots of grass, tanning area. Like you come there on the weekend, there's like a hundred people tanning. It's a great community, and they have a beautiful, beautiful pool. There it is, and this pool gets a lot of sun which is really amazing. These are the barbecues. You go to the app for the Summit Condos when you're a resident, you log in, you book your barbecue, and you bring your food, <clears throat> and you can cook it, and you can eat on one of the picnic tables. Um, that's the outside on King Street. That's kitchen table, if, if you know what I mean. Um, and there you go. So these are also very, very good options to buy because you get more value for your buck here. These units, um, it says here they spend 70,000 renovations, which is Normal, if you're doing like a nice kitchen, large, uh, looks like a quartz countertop, floors, appliances, they've done everything. Uh, and I'll show you some more units in this building very, very soon because it's fantastic. Okay, so that's 649. Uh, 649.9, and this unit is over 900 square feet. So this building comes at a discount. 
Um, this one, this is the Thompson. Pictures are not that great, but it's your typical uh, one bedroom with the Thompson. I think this is about 626 square feet. Okay. Um, so these also, these units, you know, now the pictures here are not that great. It's probably tenanted and they didn't invest in proper photography. Um, maybe it's not even tenanted, but you got to show your units really, really well. It looks actually quite nice to me. And um, around a thousand bucks a foot, it's a very, very good price. Or maybe even slight under a thousand a foot here. Um, very good price because uh, that's what we see. If we we'll go to condos.ca in a second, I'll show you the stats and the averages. And you can see that the resale is stabilized around a thousand a foot. Uh, sometimes with parking, some buildings a bit more, some a little less, but that's really good. New construction 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 2000 a foot. Okay, uh, Rush Condos actually just demolished the, um, it's called a Addison, I think, uh, Addison Rental or something like that. Uh, if I'm mistaken, put in the comments. And um, with Graffiti Alley, how about Graffiti Alley was the, the side of that building, so that's gone. Um, making room. Here's another Thompson one, 649 on the seventh floor. Um, looks a lot crispier. Uh, that's pretty nice. That's like a like a Mies van der Rohe style chair there. Okay, I wouldn't do like an office. I don't know why why you would sell a unit that looks like an office, but nonetheless, it's good. Lots of light. Uh, presentation okay. Uh, doesn't tell me the square footage, but I guess this is in the probably also in the 600 range. Okay, so pretty good. Uh, there is one at uh, 66 Portland, which is one of the earlier freeds. Okay, you can see it's a bit, it, it's getting a little dated now. Um, by the way, if you ever need uh, construction renovation, let me know. Um, I know some of the best people in town that do that. They do a fantastic job. So <clears throat> it looks a little dated. Uh, maybe you can do some with the present, yeah. Presentation not good, but the building's really good and quite sought after. And the price of 550, I think I actually been to this unit, but the price of 550 and 10 foot ceiling, you know, not bad of a deal. You you will have if you wanted to update this unit to what you see now, you're gonna invest a little bit. Um, I'm veering off a little bit, but I got a penthouse here, uh, penthouse 14, back to the summit. Um, looks pretty good, spacious. The top floors of the summit have working bar uh, barbecues. <laughs> Working fireplaces, okay? This is real. They actually have a chimney in the building. It's an older building. And uh, I've, I've seen it. It works. If you want to have fire in your condo, you can. It's le it's legal. It's all safe, okay? It does not have a balcony. Um, <clears throat> so that's the building. There's something for everyone. And all these condos, especially in this price range, five to 600, go quickly. Um, I also um, I also popped into a couple of these listings. They didn't provide any more pictures, unfortunately. But I popped into <coughs> Muse con Muse condos uh, five two five Adelaide. So that's a Plaza Corp. You can see um, just west of it. That's ninety five bathrooms and one eleven bathrooms. So that's one eleven and ninety five will be hidden. And uh, uh, closer to us would be the new uh, six twenty King. Okay, <clears throat> so this building is also selling at premiums. Um, one of these units there already sold. I think this one, uh, they told me there's an offer and they took the offer. Now they can't tell me how much it was, but it was listed at four ninety nine. So that's a sweet spot. Five to five fifty, five to six hundred. That's a sweet spot where condos selling one day. So I see the listing coming up. I booked the showing. I go there the same day, sometimes the next day, too late. It's been happening to me a lot. Um, I usually work with sellers, but when I do work with buyers, I love it because it gets me you know, out of the office and it gets me to meet people in person. It's great. And I get to interact with people and I love showing places, uh, but they sell so quickly. And I have been finding myself in multiple big offer situation, not one and not twice. It's happening all the time. Most of these little condos, uh, especially uh, the swanky ones, 
uh, like these ones here, will go to a multiple offer situation. So, you know, they're going to have more than one offer. Um, and even one offer, you know, people sometimes bid slightly more just to make sure they get in and they get the unit because they got burnt in the unit before and before and before. So that's obviously pushing the price of this type of market up. Um, it doesn't mean that the, the high end, you know, if you get uh, 1,000 square feet uh, at 1,000 a foot at a building like this, probably goes. Maybe in an older building, a bit of a discount, in a newer building, even more. But we, you know, we dancing around that 1,000 a foot. Here's the Harlow, condos.ca. Uh, now, it's measuring in the past 365 days, 1,018 a foot. But I think if it was to measure the last two months, it'll be higher, okay? Example is this uh, unit 211 that we looked at. It's the exact same one. That's not this one. This one, 211, that's my site, okay? If you go on my site, you can submit a uh, request for sure, and I'll get it right on my phone. I can call you right away. That's the lobby with the club chairs. Uh, so this unit here is just under 500 foot and uh, asking, say, 550, so 11, 1100 a foot. And my guess will go for like between 550 and 560, 70. Okay, that's kind of guessing. We'll see what they, I can't tell until they update the price. Okay, but once I do, we'll see. But this will go already for 1100 a foot. So that means that we saw a 10% or $100 a foot appreciation increase in price uh, within the 365 days. So these units sell for one day, one day Toronto, you gotta be ready. Um, the trick about getting ready, I, I think I'll do a whole video about it, but what you need to do, like in, in, in real quick, because I wanna finish this and go outside, uh, but the trick about, um, from the buyer perspective of buying one day, is to be ready so make sure that your mortgage is ready make sure your deposit is ready even better have a draft for fifty thousand dollar wait in your hand and when you come to see the showing and you like it i'll bring a template a blank form for the offer which can fill it on the spot i scan it and send it on the spot to the agent and register the offer that's your best bet and the moment they get, I can, here's a picture of the check. Let me send it to you right now or bring it to you right now or meet you right now and give it that check. That shows that I'm serious about making the deposit, making the purchase, creating the investment. Uh, anyone can send a bunch of paper, but if there's no money coming with it, you know, it's not real. Um... And it's not legal tender because there's there's no exchange, okay? If you just send paper, it doesn't count. You gotta have some money, okay? That's the exchange. That shows your intentions. Uh, so that's it for today. Yossi Kaplan, uh, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, whatever.com slash Yossi Kaplan. I uh, had a great time today. Toronto units are selling for one day. That's the sweet spot if you wanna get in. I know when they come out, a lot of them I know because I get the email, people call me, say, bring your buyers. So go to your bank or if you need a mortgage broker, I am one and one of the guys that work for me will treat you very, very well. We'll give you the royal treatment. I guarantee you that. Or the girls, I just say guys, a general term. Um, be ready. Be open. There's a lot of good investments there. There's a lot of good units. That's it.